welcome to the water cube. If you could tell me who you are and where you're from, and tell me why you're at World Water Week. Okay, uh, I'm the member of parliament. I come from the kingdom of Swaziland. I've come for uh, water climate change and uh, food security in this part of the world. Okay, and, and your name, sir? My name is Joseph Souza. Thank you. So you're from Swaziland? Yes, please. Tell us what, what is happening in your country. Well, we, we've got some challenges there, especially with uh, drought, you know. I see a lot of people here, they talk about uh, over flooding mostly, but my country got a problem with drought, you know. Uh, as a result, you know, my people are starving because there's no more rain, you know, and my government is busy trying to put up some small earth dams for water so that people can start growing some small vegetables. But unfortunately, what I've realized that the international uh, uh, countries, you know, they only concentrate on countries where there was some wars. In, in countries like the Kingdom of Swaziland, where we even have some problem with wars, they don't uh, try to help the kingdom. You know, they think we are far better, yet we have got challenges about uh, drought and also uh, HIV and AIDS. I would like to urge the, the international community to also look at Swaziland as a country because we are having some problems as well. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And so with the drought, what sorts of solutions are you, are you looking for? Well, if my government can be assisted uh, as far as funds to do some, first of all, to do a feasibility study to see if we cannot construct more dams where we can store or we can harvest water so that at the end of the day, we can start um, using the water to grow some crops so that we can feed ourselves. We know the sources are very hardworking people, they're very honest, you know, and they're quite reliable, but we're just lacking funds to do or to sustain ourselves as far as food is concerned. Uh -huh. And are there, when you say build dams, you have some rivers that run through the country? Definitely, we do have rivers and we're sharing with our neighbors like South Africa and Mozambique, and most of the time, uh, our rivers flow to our next country, which they sometimes have some flooding there. If we can have much, some fund, we can construct some small dams, you know. And I hope we've got uh, some international uh, standard of uh, to share water, which we still keep that. Mm -hmm. We cannot run away from that. But otherwise, we need fund so that we can expand our project as far as dams are concerned. Okay. Are the countries working together right now? Yeah, the countries are working together, and uh, every time, you know, when we start putting a, a, a new at them, we always consult each other. We, just, we don't just go with because we've mm -hmm. got to do it according to the international agreement. Okay, great. Thank you for speaking with us. Thanks Thank very you. much. It's a pleasure.